Tommy Two Wolves here. I will be doing your product video today, probably for the last time ever. Don't know what a lot of this shit is because I'm old. And we're gonna talk about violence, punk rock, fighting. I think the three things in here that keep humanity flowing is God, pussy, and war. And you can get all of them in this box. So we have a little preemie right here, some Supreme. This is actually dope, dude. You know, if you wanna hike up to Machu Picchu in Peru, this will make you look fly in your Peruvian gear. 23 on the back has some kind of big significance in the numeral world. Here are some um, D-Train, 1980 Lueves. These are actually pretty dope. I think they make them for men too. Oh, I like this. Oh, this is dope. This is a Celine. I have nostalgia for things I probably have never known. Like, that's deep. At first I thought it was some wax shit, but then I'm thinking, hey, Grease Lightning. It does look good, I like it. But it's not for me, it's for you guys. Here we go, some New Balance slides. It's almost like uh, like penny loafers. These are actually pretty dope, dude. Yeah, they're sick, these are nasty. Oh yeah, JW Anderson's, these are pretty dope. I like anything with the freaky toe, like the new Balenciaga mules. I just think that shit looks dope, man. Cut with some high waters. Where are you wearing those to? I would wear those to the bodega and turn a look, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Just, just, just pull out with some crop black, maybe Ricks. Those are lounge town. You, you, you look stylish and comfortable no matter where you go. And they'll just be like, yo, that dude's laid back. That is a slutty, slutty. It look. is. Slutty I like look. that. See, I'd wear them with these. This is Rick Owen. But look at that. It looks like a wetsuit almost. Yeah, I'd wear those with these. Look. That would be slutty. No socks, of course. No socks. These are chic. This is uh looks like a tweaker's hat. Raf. If you ever fucking with your crystal meth and you're working on bicycles, stealing copper, watching porn and riding a 20 inch all at the same time. Look at what we got here, some Homer. How the fuck do you open this thing? Ah, there it is. This is beautiful. I like it when it's simple like this, man. This is uh I don't know, but you can get it at Luke's. It's fire. I don't know, man. Like a little purse. You could put your Bible in there, you know? Speaking of that, this is my favorite thing in here besides these shades is this New Testament box. Look at that. Supreme. This came out like, what was it? Like uh, 2010, I believe, or 11. You can put whatever you want in there, man. Cops come and raid your house. They see that. They're like, oh, it's his Bible. Just leave that alone. Open it up. Bunch of drugs. You know, let's look at what the tops, the lids, these are dope. I have no idea, bro, but I like them. But they look good, don't they? Yeah, they're hard. This is like Fury Road, Mad Max style. The chrome is shiny and pure. But uh, that's it for today, man. That's what we got. All right. What you want to talk about? Fighting, violence. Oh, violence, yeah. You know, when I grew up, the world, it, it just used to be way more of a violent place. People didn't get out of pocket as much as they do now. Nobody called the cops. You used to just handle it. But back then, it, literally, if you went out, it was like you were going to try to score with a girl, you were going to try to get fucked up, but she was definitely going to fight. But we had to deal with Nazi skinheads back then. They were fucking everywhere. It's hard for people to believe that today, thanks to guys like me me and my friends, we would fight them constantly. But in other places like LA, Phoenix, Texas, it was like a nationwide thing where like we were fighting these dudes every week until we fucking kicked their asses back out into the hills, man. And then just people, man, like, it, you know, it was like people knew how to move back then way better than they do now. I mean, it's just the way the world is, I've accepted it. But it's like, there were repercussions to your actions back in the day when you was talking to men. You get smacked, you get hit, they hit you back, and everybody fought. But nobody was MMA dudes back then either, so that's what's different now. <laughs> You get to fight some little skinny kid, he gonna turn you into a pretzel and fuck you up, man. You know, but it was cool, dudes took care of shit. Do you think that fighting helped resolve a lot more conflict, like more efficiently? 100%. For sure? Yeah, 100%. When you had a fight with somebody, no matter who won, it was over. Like, whatever beef you had was over, you handled it. I got stories about fights, man. I remember on New Year's one time, I was in Texas, and it, it struck midnight. This fucking dude comes running with this fire hydrant and blasts me right in the face with it. And he's just like, wow, 
happened here here? And I picked up a brick and threw it and clipped him in the ankle and he went down. And this dude was pissed. He came at me and we started fighting. And I thought I could take this dude. Then all of a sudden I was like, oh my God, this guy can fucking fight, you know? <laughs> and we were going at it, man. It was all muddy and like, it was like a good five minute fight where it was like he was getting me then i'd get him and how it ended this dude he he was tough as shit man he grabbed me and threw me into the fucking fence and it broke down and he came to jump on me and i kicked my boot in the air and clipped him in the jaw dislocated his entire jaw <laughs> i remember the fight was over dude this dude was like in shock he was like <laughs> His eyes are all big. My friend Jack grabs me. He's like, yo, let's get the fuck out of here. And, you know, split. So you got any, any tips for people that do find themselves in a violent altercation? Just don't talk shit. If somebody step into you, just, you can't hesitate, man. It's usually the guy that hesitates that gets his ass kicked. If somebody steps to you and you, bam, right away, you're taking them off guard. You've already got the upper hand. And that's what I think more people need to do. Cause y'all gonna get arrested for talking shit, man. I was fucking running pianos. I would see it all the time. People just, Aah. and it was like, you guys are gonna get arrested for being a bunch of pussies. Just fight. Yeah, but I think that's what make boys boys. That's why, you know, people are kind of simpy today. They, 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 they never kicked each other's asses. There's nothing wrong with that. So do so. you think that the decline in fighting is, is good or overall bad for society? I think it's bad. You know, honestly, and, and, and I know that sounds crazy, dude. But people need to toughen the fuck up, man. Like, that's how we survive. And it's like, yeah, I don't want violence and stuff like that. But like, like I said earlier, man, there are three things that make the human race a human race, man. And it's God, sex, and war. And it has always been here. There's never been a time without it. It's one of those things where it's, it's like aggression in itself is not a bad characteristic. And I, I feel like, especially with the fighting things, like, obviously, as you said, don't go out and cause problems. Stand on your shit. Yeah. Well, what's that old saying, man? It's better to be a fucking a warrior in a garden than a gardener in the war. It's Tommy Two Wolves from Luke's NYC, Mayor of the Lower East Side. Thank you.